Insight, Congressman Eric Burleson. Congressman, it's good to see you. We're hearing from lawmakers. They're saying this is witness tampering, that President Biden recently visited a star witness in this case, Haley Biden. That's Hunter Biden's sister-in-law, who Hunter slept with. She's Beau Biden's widow. Is this witness tampering? I think it is. It's extremely suspicious, especially given the timing. You know, he hasn't visited her very often, and he chooses to do so just a couple of weeks before she's set to testify. Okay, this is this is the same Hunter Biden who worked on setting up 20 off-balance sheet shell companies for the Biden family to take in tens of millions of dollars from overseas deals with America's enemies like Russia and China, selling Joe Biden's name and access. So he, do you feel the media is covering up, uh, really, basically not doing enough to report on how Hunter set up 16 of those shells while Joe Biden was vice president in the Obama White House? And that's when the Biden family influence peddling really ramped up during the Obama White House. Yeah, we have had to fight tooth and nail just to get any coverage on this at all. You know, look, the 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 left mainstream press loves to investigate and come come up with um, phony allegations on Republicans and Trump, but they absolutely are ignoring the facts of this case and there's a lot of evidence there. Um, look, you've you've got business relationships from Romania where they they took in the, the Biden family and their associates took in $3 million. They took in $6.5 million from, from um, Ukraine. They took in another $3.5 million from a Russian oligarch. In, in total, it's $20 million that, that um, the Biden family and their business associates have taken in. And they're all not registered as foreign agents, which is just remarkable that, uh, that none of them are, uh, are being prosecuted for this. You know, Congressman, there's also this story. Joe Biden's narrative, he's middle class Joe, called into, into question. We've been reporting on this New Yorker magazine story and what we're finding about how he's lived in luxury mansions with swimming pools, including one with a ballroom when he was a senator. He's gone into debt. He says he's poor man Joe in the Senate because he went into debt to buy houses. They've got a long history of government probes and government accusations. They took in, the family took in excessive of profits from government military contracts, including from the Army and the Navy, dating back to World War I through World War II. Joe Biden is now campaigning, saying his father was out of work when he was little. The reason he was out of work, according to the New Yorker magazine congressman, was because the federal government clawed back millions of dollars in excess profits the family took for the family's ship repair business. They abused the U.S. Navy contract, taking four times the going rate in profits what they should have. That's what the Maritime Commission found during World War II. Final word. Yeah, the Biden family is anything but middle class. I mean, they, they're they closer to the Vanderbilts than they are to anyone in middle class America. How many people in middle class America can afford to purchase a 10,000 square foot home with a ballroom? It just, it it's, it's the narrative that they want, but it's not true. They have family history. They have, as you mentioned, they have his father and his great uncle devised a scheme to, to raise money or for, and, and milk bilk off of the federal government and the, and the federal government took him to court for it. Got it. Uh, they did the probe of it with uh, government review boards and more. So Congressman Burleson, we appreciate you so much. We're going to stay on these stories. We hope you come back on again soon. Have a good weekend.